Imagine working for 30 or 40 years, putting in all the hard work, but when you finally peek into your bank account, you're hit with a harsh reality. There's just not enough money to enjoy the things you love in your golden years. Now you might think this is purely an income issue, but the truth be told, it is often more about lacking proper financial planning and financial education. So in this video, I will talk about five money mistakes that could drain your funds and leave you in poor financial health. My name is Kanak and welcome back to my channel. Your support is what keeps this channel running. And if you find this video helpful, then show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. One big money mistake that stops people from getting rich is taking loans with high interest rates. It does not matter if it is a credit card loan, car loan, personal loan or student loan. If the interest is really high, your debt keeps growing fast. Over time, it can become a huge amount and mess up with your financial situation. Credit cards, for example, can have crazy high interest rates like 24% to 36%. At 36%, your debt doubles every two and a half years. That means it grows five times in five years and a whooping 20 times in just 10 years. It's like your debt is piling up super quick. So if you have a loan with high interest rate, it is important to do something about it right away. Another big mistake that can make you lose all of your savings and end up poor is not having enough health and life insurance. No matter where you live, if you or your family get sick, the medical bills can pile up fast and use up all of your savings. Think of insurance like a safety net for your money. Kind of like when you buy a put option to protect your investments in the stock market. Life is full of surprises and we can't predict what will happen. So to keep your money safe from unexpected disasters, it is really important to have both health and life insurance. Another common money mistake is only saving money and not investing it. Think of inflation as a hidden tax on your money. If you keep all of your savings as cash and don't invest in things like stocks, businesses, real estate or commodities that beat inflation, your money loses value over time. In the US, the average inflation rate in the last 20 years was about 2%. So if you just keep your $100,000 as cash, in 25 years, it might only be worth $50,000. Instead of just saving, it is smart to invest your money in things that grow faster than inflation. Another costly mistake is getting a house much bigger than you really need. Let us say you are a family of three and a three bedroom place suits you just fine. If you go and buy a massive five bedroom house, you are basically wasting money. Real estate is pricey and the costs go up with the size of the property. If you get a house larger than you need, you end up paying more for mortgage, taxes, maintenance, insurance and other stuff. Plus, there is an opportunity cost. You miss out on investing that extra money in something like S&P 500 index and making more money over the time. So when you're thinking about buying a house, stick to what you actually need. Those extra rooms can end up costing you a lot in the long run. Another common money mistake many people make is called lifestyle inflation. It is when you start spending more money as your salary goes up. The problem is this can lead to a cycle where you end up living paycheck to paycheck again. For example, when you get a promotion or a raise, you might move to a fancier apartment, upgrade your car or start buying more expensive clothes. These changes can happen so subtly that you don't even realize it. The tricky part about lifestyle inflation is that the extra money you're making does not actually give you financial freedom. Instead, it often makes you want even more fancier things, turning you into a sort of slave to your new income. So the next time you get a promotion, a raise or a higher paying job, consider saving and investing that extra money in things that will make you financially independent in the long run.